My name is Judy Zarco. I'm a radiological control technician for the NIF. My name is Marna Gutierrez, and I'm a radiological control technician for NIF. We basically monitor uh, radiological operations to ensure safety and to ensure that our controls that are in place are working. I'm Richard Beal and I'm the, the NIF Radiation Safety Officer, and I supervise the 12 rad contacts, so, so two, two of which are Judy and Myrna. They were clean room custodians, and we were gearing up for radiological control, controls, and so um, we, had no, we had this facility where we, we needed 500 people capable of working in a radiological environment, we had nobody, and so it was a huge effort to ramp up. They all saw that this was an opportunity, that they were learning something that they might not be able to learn anywhere else, you know, that, that good attitude, that positive attitude, um, kind of made them one of the, you know, put them up at the front of, of, our, of our new trainees. Working full time, uh, being in school, it, it could be, there, there was a lot on the plate with all of that, just juggling that alone, but uh, I think that was the hardest part. I was scared that it was gonna be too hard that I wasn't going to be able to learn the material, that, you know, that whole fear of failure. Almost all of our radiological control technicians come from working in nuclear power, and so to get, and, and to do radiological work in a nuclear power plant, usually you have to go through a very rigorous, uh, you know, academic training, which includes physics, includes, uh, you know, learning about vacuum systems and pressure systems and heat transfer and fluid flow and all sorts of things like that. And so for somebody without that background, that's a big jump. They made up for it because they took those, those two years of college classes and they entered into RCT training here on site, which pu pushed them through, they call it radiological fundamentals. And they studied and studied. I saw them studying all the time. They were, uh, you know, they asked questions. Everybody here at the, with the group that we work with was extremely uh, supportive. As everyone from, from management to our peers, the, everybody that we work with, uh, they were extremely great with, with helping with any questions that I had. And then all of our coworkers, all of the other RCTs, they were really encouraging and they helped us um, with all of our work along the way. We had to set up and we needed a lot of different supplies to make that happen. And without asking, Judy and Myrna, who were our only RAD custodians at the time, they showed up and they had everything we needed. And I, that was a, a happy moment. It was, isn't this great? Isn't this great that we got people who are thinking ahead and they know how things work. And so we didn't have enough RCTs. They stepped right in. They did all the things that, that we needed done. They showed up with the right materials. It feels great. It feels like um, I accomplished, you know, the goal that I had set for myself, and and it feels encouraging to keep going with my education, and hopefully more opportunities will come along similar to this. I'm extremely happy and proud of myself for for being able to accomplish that, and then I, there's still more that I would like to accomplish in the future. They have authority because they work very hard to know what they're talking about, and so they know their skill. You know, if we ask them about, uh, you know, activation of the target bay, hey, we just had a yield, a shot of such and such yield. Tell me what the dose rates are going to be here. Uh, when do you think we're going to be able to take the, the, this equipment out and get it surveyed and released? They know what they're talking about, they're, and so uh, they're, they're respected for their uh, their skills and their knowledge. They kept their good attitude at work. They worked hard. Um, they they did well in school. So. Uh, uh, yeah, so RCT is just a stepping stone for them, um, you know, so 10 years down the line, uh, one of them is my boss, I'll be fine with it. <laughs>